They Shook Hands, Year One, Chapter Nine, Part Three. Potter, LaPointe, and Germain, get over here, bald Flint. Flint, Higgs, where are you? Nothing up for it, Harry muttered, getting to his feet and managing to walk lovely over to where the rest were. First of all, congratulations on getting this far. Now that Higgs was served Zeker last year, so he's been bumped to first team. However, one of you gets to get switched before he does, that means you are on the first team. Whoever can catch it next is on the second team. Any questions? They were none. Good. In the air with you, then. This is the moment of truth. The story would sink or swim. We wanted the team to catch more than they made a shoulder fly straight and catch the snitch. Loose. Flynn called out with a vegetable and swimming by Harry. We no time really took off after it. Bump, elbow, prod, and zoom was all blurred to Harry. We're seeing back between, between, behind the white haze of pain. All there was was the snitch and those who wanted to take it away from him. Crash was when Bludger was smashed and drama and breaking it with the non-seekers. Higgs supplied it and looped out of the way, and he was the first back to this on the snitch's course. Harry broke up wanting to avoid that bludger. Higgs nearly had it, there was nothing for it. Harry leaned side the back side, like, easing the cord, much it was a broom. Harry Higgs pulled away. The point had it hot in his tail, reserve seeker would be good enough for wait. As Harry watched the snitch ran a long looping arc, coming back towards him, went on a burst of speed angled for an intercept. He, he blindsided Higgs, smashing into him with a terrific force. The pain in Harry's shoulder almost made him black out, but he fought, he fought to keep his focus. The broom started wobbling, so he switched hands, reaching out with his injured arm. Just a little more speed. He had it. He could really feel for all feel for all the pain he was in, but the was there in Harry's hand. Flint's whistle blew. Potter, come on down. Everyone else keep moving. Harry went next to hard to Flint. He handed over the snitch. Congratulations, Potter. I guess Preston was the bullying. He said he could fly well. He made the team. Harry on the absent leave, seeing his friends charging towards him on the side of the pitch where they've been watching. You don't look so good, Flint said to him. He was about to worry look in his face. I don't feel so good either, Harry said to me, crashing to the grass in a heap. Where am I, Harry? He asked as he used to lose conscious, conscious again and looked around and saw that everything in the large room was white. He looked at the cornered faces of his friends. Wait a minute, looked up. He realized he was laying in the bed with li white linen sheets. Hospital wing, Dre Ramsey, breaking off his conversation with Tracy. You fainted after you made the team. Congratulations, by the way. I knew he could do it, and really said a, bit, a little bit too loudly, earning her a glare from Madame Pomfrey. Prodigious Tracy exclaimed, she's holding his right hand. Harry smiled slightly at her. Draco snorted. I fainted, he asked puzzled. Oh, Harry, we were so worried, Tracy said. We saw you hit the ground, but they wouldn't let us get near. How did I get here? He asked, touching his friends a bit, so concerned. Flint kept everyone away, and the gas spell, Draco told him. He was sitting like, up like a plank, and he brought me up here himself. He would have stayed, but he had to get back to the trials. Theo nodded. That bludger banged up his shoulder up a treat, he said. Madame Robbie said he had a bit of a shock, so he'd be right as rain in a few hours. My shoulder doesn't hurt, he said thickly. She fixed you up right up, Theo said. She said I'd done a nice bit of work with my spells, too, he prayed. Nothing made Theo happier than praise for good work. When can I leave? Anytime you want to, dear, he said the maternity nurse. She bustled over. She pointed her wand at his shoulder and hummed herself in satisfaction. Right as rain, she confirmed. We'll be just in time for lunch. Go on now. Harry sat up and swung his feet around. He put on his trainers and got to his feet, waving off Draco's help. I'm hungry, he announced. Tracy and Fancy giggled. Millie took his arm. Come on, Seeker, let's, let's go get you fed. Get you fed. So yeah, that's the ninth chapter of They Shook Hands, Year One. Chapter 9, Quidditch, anyone. I'll update you guys with Chapter 10 as soon as possible. Uh, take care, everybody. It's on the Legend 86 out.